All right, so this is Loop Hero. Um, the premise of this game is you and everybody else in the world has forgotten everything they know. And there's this general, like, just blackness. And there seems to be a camp of people that seem to try to be remembering the past and what's going on. Um, we've encountered an evil being who seems to be sapping the world of energy and draining people's memories and blah, blah, blah. Big evil bad. Every time our hero leaves this town, they forget, like, what's going on, but they gather materials like a piece of wood, and they'll go, oh, I remember we used to live in houses, and so things start to come back as you experience things. Yeah. Well, I grew that camp quite a bit. I did. So what, one of the things that you do is you get resources by um, going on expeditions and you use that to upgrade uh, your base. Upgrades can unlock new classes for your character. Upgrades can help out in a whole bunch of different passive ways. Um, and then when you're when you're done like building, you go on an expedition. All right, this is where you're choosing FPS, the different chapters after you unlock them. Okay. A kind gesture. Humble store purchase. Thank you so much. That, that actually reminds me, real quick. Let me um, let me uh, change my hashtag game command here. Uh, because that looks like somebody's just snagged a copy of Loop Hero. We had like, like I told Azari, like we only streamed Loop Hero for like an hour on Friday, and I, we had like seven people uh, snag it on the humble store. So there we go. I changed hashtag game. Okay. Try turning on the stop at the start of each loop to see would you get the same thing I do. All right, well, we'll see. I think it's more important for you to see how I play it, so you can actually get to the boss. <laughs> Um, you see a familiar name in there? Look, there was some bug on Steam Thorny Subject, and this weekend over here, uh, sorry, he's dancing in here. I think she wants me to look at her. I don't know. She's got her earbuds in, so she can't hear what I'm saying, but she's dancing over here. Um, see how, see how you're doubled here? It says Thorny Subject once and Thorny Subject again. You, it, it had a, it had you like 17 times down the side of my screen. There's some bug. And I think it's fun that this bug happens with a game called Loop Hero. So, yeah. This is tame for Thorny Subject. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's got her eyes closed and she's dancing and she's singing the words of the song. I'm gonna have a secret camera for you someday. What happened? I'm gonna have a secret camera for you someday. No, we, we can't. I shut off all the music and we just heard you singing. Yeah. You, I wasn't singing though. You were, you were. I'm closing this door. Okay, go have fun with your dance off. Okay, Um. so you choose which chapter you wanna do. You unlock different cards that you can slot in. Um. I'm trying to think. What do I want to do? I'm gonna try as the I'm gonna play as the necromancer. Um, do we, we need tre treasuries are okay? Oblivion I got rid of for now. Maybe I don't need a blood grove. Let's try this. All right, and we'll start. Okay, so it's funny. They start with warrior gear, which I can't use as a necromancer. Um, your character moves along a path. The only thing you can do is pause or unpause in terms of movement. When you encounter a creature on the path, it auto battles for you. So you don't control that either. What you do control is setting up your gear. So if you get loot, you can slot in your loot. 
and you'll get cards along the bottom of the screen as rewards for fighting that you can use to fill in this black world. It's basically your character remembering things. The more things that you place, the more this progress bar over here will fill to get to the boss of this level. This up here is how many days are going by at the start of every day. Things happen, stuff like that. Here we go. So the Necromancer summons skeletons to do your battle. So I can have up to two skeletons right here. You can see my stats, max skeletons equals two. Um, I, I got a piece of treasure, which is a grimoire, which increases my skeletons levels. So we'll do that. And you'll see the stat fills in over here. We got our first piece of loot, which was a craft fragment. If I get 10 of these, it becomes an orb of crafts. And then we've got the meadow. Um, when I place this down in the world, like that, it gives us some resources, and also it heals my character two hit points at the start of every day. You can see right here when, when the new start of the day is going to be, yeah. What building unlocks the necro? I think it was the crypt, yeah. It'll say it right on the thing. Alright, so here we go. Summoning skeletons, doing battle. Alright, I've got myself an amulet. Gives me some more HP. Oh, I got two amulets, and they're both the same. Thanks. Here's a spider cocoon. Now you might want to, you might say to yourself, why would I want to put down a spider cocoon if it's going to spawn spiders? I'll just stick with the slimes. Well, you want more. The more enemies that you can deal with in a loop, the more treasure you're going to get, the more resources you're going to get, the faster you're going to build up. Every time your character gets back to the start, the loop level increases by one, meaning the enemies will get tougher. Uh, you'll get better loot, but it gets tougher to go around. So, level 1 spiders aren't that hard to deal with, so we'll spawn one kind of toward the end of the loop here. Um, let's say right there. And you can see in the verse loop, it's pretty easy, and it gets crazy. Yeah. Garlic? I never found garlic before. The distinctive taste of garlic will make any food tastier. Oh, wow. Okay, plus two damage against all vampires. You can equip this when I come back to town. Interesting. Okay. Uh, got more spiders. Rock. Throw that up there for now. Slimes only drop loot zero to three levels below your loot level. That's true. Yeah, so you need better monsters. Better monsters. Oh, that was nice. All right, Grove can spawn rat wolves. Let's put rat wolves over here. I'm going to start saving up some meadows. I'll show you what we're saving it for. Skeleton level's not good, so we'll save the loot. Attack speed. 4% increase. All right, we got a cemetery to spawn skeletons. All right. This grimoire is slightly better. Slightly, very slightly. This is slightly better as well. We got more spiders too. Spooters. Necro is your favorite by far, Golemancy. I I'm, I like the Necro and I like the Warrior. I I played a lot of the 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 thief for the Rogue this weekend. I was having zero luck with the Rogue. The Rogue gets a huge spike in power every time you complete a loop, but then you kind of like don't get any incremental increases till the next loop. Um, so it makes it a little tough. Uh, the treasury. This is kind of why I save some resources. The treasury allows you to get extra resources when you build around it. So you can see I'm getting extra resources. And if you completely encircle a treasury, it gives you a whole bunch of cool loot and starts spawn spawning gargoyles on your map. Which is good and bad, I guess. 
Um, I've started to rethink the village a little bit. The village gives you uh, healing when you go through it, but it makes one of the monsters on the loop more powerful, and that's like your quest objective. So, yeah, so it says here, kills 20 hit points, but gives you a quest. I find a lot of times that elite monster is what does me in. All right, we got another treasury. Interesting. Can double dip, double dip on that road lantern. This will um, limit the amount of creatures that can spawn near it, and they stack. So I like to kind of set up like dangerous areas, and then use lanterns to kind of like calm them down a bit. You ditched the village a while ago. Had more success without it. Yeah, I th I think it's a little bit of a trap, isn't it? I've I started to notice. I'm like, damn, especially higher loops. Um, the elite monster gets really tough. All right, we're about to complete our first loop. Monsters are now more difficult. Treasure is now better. Yeah, what you'll what you'll find, FPS, is um. I'm on chapter, in, when chapter two and in chapter three, the monsters have one to two or two to three abilities on them. So when you have a village, especially with the um, the wheat fields that create scarecrows, then you get then you get these insane monsters with like two or three abilities and you doubled their hit points. It gets a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, villages fine in lower chapters, but probably bad at higher ones. Exactly. Exactly. By the way, this is another ring. I have two rings. All right, Thorn Tamer. Also, if you if you check out my Loop Hero segment on Friday, I, I went through a whole bunch of tips and tricks. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. You're making you have doubts? Thorny's out to just play around with it. So you can come up. Right now I have it. I'm gonna, I'll put one in. You know, I'm gonna wait till a little bit later and then I'll put one in. I don't really need it right now. I got a silver pendant, nice. Minus four damage from all vampires. Wow, we have vampire hate. All right, I'm gonna put rocks over here. Rocks, when you put rocks down, they give you uh, plus two hit points, plus two more hit points for every adjacent rock or mountain. We're gonna have four spiders here. And let's say they have entangling, 5% chance and immobilize. This is bad. They are eating through my skeletons as soon as I summon them. This is bad. That's too many spooters. Okay. Treasure kind of stunk. Survive that barely. I'm gonna finish up this. I'm gonna completely encircle this treasury. Gives us some loot. I got a much better grimoire. Of course, I got two better grimoires. Summon quality plus 20%. Skeleton level plus 0.27. Evasion. Okay, that's much better now. Road lantern. We're gonna. Use that up here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm summoning these skeletons. As the necro, that's the only way to attack. Is to summon skeletons. So the better your skeletons, the better you are. All right, we're low on health. I am going to put a village down. <laughs> right on those spiders. Um, 
and I'm gonna put the two wheat fields down. All right, so what I just did is now I get 45 hit points when I pass the village, but spawn scarecrows every four days. The skeleton, oh, the necro actually does attack himself when you no longer have skeletons, okay. But he's very weak, got it. Regen per second. Let's do that. Oh man, we're getting slaughtered. We're summoning a different type of skeleton now because my quality went up, right? Skeleton warriors versus friendly skeletons. Max, oh, we got a max skeleton plus one ring. Really only will be a factor in longer fights, but that's what we're gonna, that's what we're heading towards here. Longer fights. By the way, for passing the village, you can see this little crown on the slime. It chose a slime, which is good. The slime got double hit points, not something more deadly. That will change. That'll get bad later on. Got another village. Great. Great. They're killing my skeletons way too quick. There we go, now I got three. Now I got my three. Ooh, I got a level four ring. Regen per second, summon quality. Beautiful. Level four amulet as well, that's great. Okay. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna wait until we loop around one more time and then complete this treasury. Yeah. This is a unique game idea. You like it, Mugatari? I've never played anything like it. It's completely unique to me. It takes elements, of course, of other things, you know, some idler games, some rogue, rogue light elements, stuff like that, but. Yeah, other than that, it's it's pretty pretty wild. Oh, see, I, I put my tenth uh, mountain. So when I put my tenth mountain down, it summoned a goblin camp. Every uh, ten mountain or rock tiles. So now I've got goblins will be spawning over here, and there are pains in the butt. It's also a great one hand game. So if you're like eating a bowl of pasta and you want something, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times I want to have a game to eat dinner or breakfast or whatever. Like that's why I like Legends of Rude Terror, like my card games. I like Hearthstone, Legends of Rude Terror, that kind of stuff. This game works like that too. <laughs> one hand, one handed play. Does it only work with pasta? Yes, only pasta. Only pasta. Well, I'm Italian, that's all I eat. Uh, max. Oh, see, I'm gonna lose the max skeletons plus one if I if I put this on. I think it's probably worth though. Probably worth it. What kind of pasta? Any kind. Except spaghetti. It's too messy. Squ I like the squiggle ronies. Yeah, the rotini. Squiggle Ronies. See this over here? We got a gargoyle coming in from the treasury. Where is he flying in? Oh, here's a goblin. Ooh, level four amulet. Uh, it's less hit points, but skeleton level goes up. Okay. Penny's good. Penny's eh. To me. My favorite is like rigatoni. I love rigatoni. 
Look at this, he summoned a uh, skeleton guard. So he doesn't do a lot of damage, but uh, he's the first target. Just nice. Very nice. Uh, do I want another forest down? See, I, I never. One of the thing, one of the strategies I struggle with is just like how much stuff should I load the board with? You know what I mean? Pain is good if you have a creamy sauce, yeah, because it fills up. But I'm not a big fan of creamy sauce. Could be why I don't like painting that much. I find panties hard to how hard to fork. They slip away. Okay, we really need a uh, a new uh, grimoire. We're we're level two on our grimoire. Uh, ruins. Every time you pass it, you gain resources, but then it spawns those scorchy worms that look like male anatomy. And they can attack from range, too. I'm gonna put one down. Wanna, you don't want it too close to your other fights. Put it right there, so we're gonna get it soon. Isn't Pen the, Pen A, Pen A the pasta type though? What do you, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, it's the shape of the pasta, yeah. A good trick with ruins is put it near a blood grove so they always die. I don't know what you mean. That's, you, you're talking to me about something I'm not aware of, Golemancy. I don't even have the, the Blood Grove in here. Teach me. Teach me your ways. So when you put a meadow down, it becomes a blooming meadow if it's adjacent to something other than a meadow. And that gives you three hit points at the start of the day instead of two. There's a scarecrow that's on the fields. Oh, we got a level three ring. It's orange. Um, summon quality would go down. Skeleton level would go up. Attack speed would be equal on one of them. Two defense. I think it's worth putting on here. And I have a perk. Plus one resurrection charge. Deals you a handful of oblivion. The hero leaves 10% of his findings in a camp when passing through. See, I like that sometimes. Every time you pass the camp, he drops some of his materials off, so you're guaranteed some treasure. What does plus one resurrection charge do? Where, where can I see my resurrection charges? Some of these perks, they don't explain enough. If I pick the if I pick plus one resurrection charge, do I get to see my resurrection charges somewhere? Anyone know? The Blood Grove insta kill bypasses death effects. Which means the worms never trigger the chance to run away instead of Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Gotcha. You know there's a building that allows you to res instead of dying once. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that stinks, Elden. Alright, so let's drop off supplies so we, we lose less if we die. 
All right, this is a new grimoire. Six defense. I like this one better. Four spiders. It's funny, with the warrior spiders are simple. Spiders seem to be more difficult with uh, the necro. All right, do we want a second village? All right, we're about to pass the start, and then I'm going to fill in this treasury and get a next level. And some of my mats are about to get plugged in here. So, yeah, just it just took a whole bunch of my mats and deposited it. All right, so now we're loop level four. Uh, let's finish up this treasury. Ooh, level four uh, orange amulet. Way down on hit points. I think it's worth it. It's got max skeletons plus one. Okay. wondering uh, if I should do something about these goblin camps. Should I use oblivion on that goblin camp? Oh, now we got skeleton archers. See, this is what chapter 2 and chapter 3 do <laughs> that really kind of make the game more difficult. You know, you got all these extra abilities. May resurrect as a shattered skeleton. 50% of the time, he's going to come back. See, this one came back as a cracked skeleton. All right, we're going to use this. All right, let's keep going. This, this place over here is going to get a little crazy. Yeah, I'm about to make a mountain peak over here, Thorny Subject. Also, if you put two villages down, you get the bandit camp, which I'm trying not to do, because the bandit camp, the bandits steal your stuff. The bandits will steal your stuff. All right, so in the battlefields, try to put these near the beginning of your loop, because they're going to give you treasure when you pass go. And you want to get that treasure early in the loop, not late in the loop, because it's going to be of the treasure level of the current loop. So. Yeah, you can oblivion the camp. That's true. You can. Yeah. Why are you putting meadows around your mountain peak? So that they become blooming meadows instead of normal meadows. If you just put meadows near other meadows, they they just they're just normal meadows. This archer's being able, is able to shoot at me. All right, um, we're getting towards this triple goblin fight. Do we think we're okay? Probably okay, right? So I want this amulet. Hold on one second. Hi. 
Sorry about that. Yeah. This is a level 5 ring. Let me just take a look at this real quick. Um, Probably better than this one. So now we can make our big mountain peak here. There we go. What is this? What game is good enough to have a Zarya singing while playing? What does that mean? What do you mean, what game is good enough? Okay, we slaughtered those goblins I was worried about. Level 5 amulet. No. I like my amulet with the skeletons plus one. Thank you very much. Let me hold on to that. What is she playing now? Like, right this second? She's cleaning, I think. Oh. Another goblin camp. Cleaning requires earbuds so she can listen to Spotify while she's r walking around the house. All right, we got another um, <laughs> SSD. Where do I want this? So we can put it over there. Yes, cleaning does require music, of course. Interesting. It really seems like spiders are tough for the necro. On loop four still. Now you have to make a decision. About how long to go with your current setup, right? Alright, we got another treasury here we can start working on. Throw that down. Um... If I try to run away right now, and I know I had this problem last week too. I'm right over the button. There's a button here to run away. If I hit this now, I keep 60% of the resources I found. And these are the things that upgrade your camp and basically progress the game, right? 60% I keep if I leave now. If I wait until I get back to the cozy camp, I'll get 100% of my stuff. And if I die, you only get 30% of your stuff. So those are your, your three options. So every time you come back to start, you gotta make that decision. Like, do I wanna leave or not? And you can see, like, I haven't, I'm nowhere near the boss at this point. I haven't even seen this third boss. I haven't, I haven't even summoned this third boss yet. It just gets too crazy by the time I get there. And I don't know why. Okay, those gargoyles are going somewhere else. There we go. Should I stay or should I go now? Exactly. Um, I 
All right, let's put down a second village. We'll put it here. The bandits that had just spawned, we're going to get rid of. Because I hate bandits. I, I literally had, like, my max weapon. I had, like, a level 6 or 7, like, awesome weapon get stolen. By these dumb bandits. All of a sudden, you look up and you're missing an equipment slot. You're like, hey! Alright, we're not really getting some great loot. Okay, so I put the village... I shouldn't have put the village there. I should have put it one more space up so I could have put fields on both sides. Um... Do that. I could put a third village down too. Because that's not going to summon more bandits. I don't know. We're coming across the scorch worms. Don't those look wrong? I showed this through Azari this weekend. I'm like, don't these guys look wrong? And then they also wiggle away, so you don't kill them. It's annoying. All right, this is the uh, the battlefield chests that you get at the, the start of each rotation. All right, we, we got five. Max skeleton's up again now. Uh, not, not feeling it. This is a little bit of a yucky fight. Summon a better skeleton! Summon a tank! Summon a tank! Whoa! Look at all that loot coming in! Wow, that was a lot of loot. And I got a brass candlestick! Nice! And we got a trait! A permanent plus five, plus point five bonus to energy armor for every summoned skeleton. Plus point two five to skeleton's level for a loop, starting with this. Okay, so they we're already at loop five. This would be better earlier on. Or art of control, plus one maximum number of skellies. I'm going to just do that one. We'll just do that. Let's look at our loot. So now I can actually use better amulets. And not have to worry about the plus one skeleton thingy. Try that. If you want better skill than stacking more summon quality is the way to go. Yeah, I mean, just I'm not, not getting much help from the stuff. I, I could equip this one. But, yeah. Anyone got a great four-player co-op game off the top of their heads that isn't Divinity? Like, what kind of game, though? Valheim. Yeah, Valheim. That's exactly what I was going to say. If you mean, like, a turn-based role-playing game... Oh, anything. Compiling ideas. Okay. Yeah, Valheim could work. Uh, I 
I was gonna say Remnant from the Ashes, but that's only three. Monster Hunter Rise. There you go. Monster Hunter Rise. I said Monter. Monter Hunter. Monter Hunter! Castle Crashers is great. There's a game called Crawl. Crawl is a great couch co-op game. My map is starting to get a little crazy here. New cemetery. Spider. He is our hero. Spider. Get rid of. Step on, Spider. We love you, Spider. Oh. I promise not to kill you, Spider. Bop, 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 bop. How many is Gunfire Reborn? I don't recall. I played that only solo. Harpies! I've got all these extra ruins, but I'm afraid to put them down. Okay, things are going okay. But you can see, like, things are getting to be a mess. <laughs> there's so much, there's so many characters. <laughs> there's so much going on. Uh... Gunfire has four? Okay. Yeah, Unrailed. Another, that's a very different type of game. Than a lot of the ones we're mentioning. Unrailed. Uh, Vermintide 2 is another one. Let's get the treasury. Should I do the treasury now or should I wait for one more loop? Let's wait one more loop and then we'll snag it. You can see our boss meter is almost halfway full. We're getting too many cards. I'm gonna have to put some stuff down. Uh, Grove. I could put a third village down, yeah? Feeling okay about this, but things turn ugly really quick. Let's 
skeleton level. So skeleton quality is the type of monster it summons. And then skeleton level is how tough that skeleton is. Is that what it is? I wish I, I, I would love for you to be able to highlight over these stats over here and find out what exactly they do. You know what I mean? That would be pretty amazing. Oh no, another goblin camp. Whoops! So that's right? Okay. Summon quality is only 25%. Level 5 book. I want to keep the attack speed. Uh... Nothing's, nothing's really standing out as much better. What was that noise? That ee hee hee hee. What was that? Never heard that before. At around 50%, you start seeing the better skeletons more often. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Why is the monster disappearing? Oh, that's just the scarecrow? Oh, okay. That's just the noise they make? Just creepy? Another battlefield right before we're going to uh, cross the starting line here, which is nice. Of course, it's gonna make ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, we're gonna fight all these worms. You got your eternal cylinder beta key signed right as box started playing. Nice. See, it doesn't take long. Hope you enjoy it. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Wait, what's what's this one? Alright, let's do this one. Fine. Twist my arm. Quest done. Finish this fight quick so the scorch worms can't get us. Quicker! That's not quick. Thank you guys. Quicker! Jeez. All right. So we finished the loop. I got a new trait. Oh, thank God I got this with you guys. Please explain this. I don't understand the surveyor. It's like plus 0.5 times loop hit points. So, okay. So 0.5 times loop. So our loop is six. So this would be three. Three hit points for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile? What does that mean? What's an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile? Email says beta ends on 425. Okay, gotcha. Every time you pass a roadside tile, you hear, what's a roadside tile? Do you mean like battlefields all count? Goblin camps count? Like all of these things count? The spider cocoons, all that?
Anything that sits next to the road. Okay. That seems weird. A permanent plus five a bonus to energy armor for every summon skeleton. 20% chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them during the last summon. Unseen Care is OP. Plus five bonus, plus 0.5 bonus to energy armor for every summon skeleton. I'll trust you, but I don't know why. I would, I, this would be the last of these three I would choose. Oh, it's permanent. Oh. I see, I see. And we solved the loop, right? We went, we ran around the loop so we could put this down, get extra treasure. That's not bad. I'm getting close to this boss. I'm gonna have to put down all these ruins and stuff. And we got a blood clot. Ooh, nice. How are you able to place new treasuries like that? Mine require an empty line of tiles between anything that's placed in the treasury. So if you have one here, let's say let's say I put this one here first, right? I start building around the top of it just in case I get a second treasury, I can put it down here because I haven't built anything here yet. And then you can double dip on these tiles. You can see this one came much later and I had to put it down much further, yeah. Another lantern. Okay, good. Where's our crazy? Where's where's craziness happening that I need to cut down on? Kind of like maybe here. I don't know. I didn't do anything because it it could still do three. Yes, but you were able to just place against an existing tile, weren't you? But I thought you were able to get around it somehow. No. I put a rock down. Like that. Let's see, what is this? Uh-oh, gargoyles with a skeleton archer. Any of these quests? No. So, Golomancy, how do I see the, uh... The permanent plus five bonus to energy armor? Where does that, where is that listed? So I can watch the progress with that. Magic hit points is energy armor. Okay. <laughs> Why do they name it two different things? <laughs> Magic hit points is energy armor. Oh. How silly of me. I just saw it go up. I saw this stack go up over here. And that remains permanent, huh? Every time I summon another one. Or another two, I should say. Ooh, look at this. Level 7 ring. Attack speed, 24%. Skeleton level. It's <sighs> a big update, upgrade. On the attack speed, at least. 
Ooh, we got an Oblivion. There's something else they did with that. Yeah, I think that if they, if they, um, if they cleaned up a few things like that and made it a little bit less confusing, I think really what they need is highlight, get, get extra context from these stats by highlighting over them. That would be huge. What do you think, babe? It would be huge. 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 Is it early access? I don't know if it's early access. I think it's the launch, isn't it? Um, any tips for uh, beating the first Lich boss? I do. I do have some tips, Thorny Subject. Uh, if anybody doesn't want spoilers for the first boss, I will go like this when I'm done. <laughs> so, spoiler warning for the first boss. So, Thorny Subject... When the when the the lich spawns, right? He spawns around your your camp. Any squares around the camp that aren't built on, he's gonna put a lich palace that's gonna get make him do more damage and have more hit points. So if you build all around it first, he can't summon in those spa spaces. So make sure you surround your 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 camp with stuff so he doesn't get as many palaces. If he does get palaces, you can use Oblivion cards to destroy them by, before you get there and he will be much weaker. There you go. And I'll wave again. You're welcome, 47. Yeah, just try to fill, fill as much as you can around here. Yeah. Alright, um... Skeleton level plus 6.54. Holy balls. That's pretty big. I'm wondering if I should do this. And this one. The summon quality goes way up. 27%. Summon quality. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Did I purposely spawn blood clots? Of course. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What do I want to do here? I can't believe how many effing wheat fields they've given me. Like, come on, get out of here with these wheat fields. Please. I don't know if I want any more ruins either, though. But I guess I can place and then destroy. Where is my character? I'm here. Uh... Yeah, I know they'll cycle off, but I want them to count towards this up here. If your cards recycle, you do get resources. Does it still count towards boss uh, progress, though, if, if they filter off? How much have you played with the Necro? I've done like three or four loops. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. All right, let's let a couple of them cycle off then. Ooh. That hit hard. Oh, a treasury. Nice. If you have a build tip, though, for the, the Necromancer, I don't mind. Go ahead and tell me. Um. Yeah, I think we can get one more, one more treasury going here.
the music changed. Boom. Quality's king, yes. Yeah, Golemancy uh, was talking about that earlier. So you can get these, the higher level skeletons. Yeah, I don't think I have any other quality items here. I, I don't feel like they've given me like the best stuff. Yeah, that's some quality is on the one item that I already have. Yeah. This loop is getting crazy. Why is he pissed? He's confused. Enraged. You just got the achievement to fill every space on the map? I want that. I would like to do that. So, general advice. I could put more groves and spiders down and maybe even ruins, but I'm afraid of this getting too packed and too hard to get through. Do you guys like, like would you hold off putting more spiders down or do you just keep going and just fill it? More loot pinatas? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't get the vampire strategy working at all with the with the rogue. <laughs> Where, yeah, what I was doing on Friday, you guys were like, just put the vampires down early, it's fine. <laughs> the rogue was dying in loop two or three. <laughs> A dancing Ewok, thanks for following. <laughs> What's this, 1990? This is a brand new release, my friend. Something you might like, man. It's called Loop Hero. Very different kind of game, though. Very, very different. I never played anything like it. Dancing Ewok, you've been watching me play Witchet over on Steam? Yeah, that's a stream we did a couple months ago, and the developers rebroadcast it over on Steam. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you found your way over here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. All right, we're getting low on life, gang, and I have no potions. Yeah, we're we're in a little bit of trouble here. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way around. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to oblivion this. Get rid of those worms. Um, I forgot there was a treasury here. There's no good way to describe it, Alaska. If you have time to rewatch my VOD from like this on Friday, or even the one where I started this today, I kind of go through an entire explanation of what it's like, but it's an idle game. Your character walks around a loop, and even the fighting, I don't control the fighting. What I control is the loot, like equipping what I want to equip, and then using the cards down here to build the world. And for example, when I built a whole bunch of mountains in a row up here, it gave me a whole bunch of extra hit points. You can see it here, 120 extra hit points. But now it spawns a harpy every two days. So there's a whole bunch of hidden things that happen as you build the world. Yeah. Um, can I build this? Here? Here, I think I can build this. Yeah, let's build it there. All right, and let's get the treasure from this. And the resources, maybe something here can help us. St level five ring, why are you giving me level five stuff? This ring gives me plus one skeleton. This 
<laughs> I'm not finding great loot, gang. Okay. So what's the scarecrow doing? Scares away. Oh, banishes a random enemy at the start of battle. Only once per battle. Oh, that's great. I like that. Thank you, helpful scarecrow. I was wondering what the hell that was. Max skeletons plus one on this ring. That's bad. If it scares it away, you don't get looter experience. Now I understand. I understand. But surviving <laughs> has been my issue. So I think in this case it's okay. Uh, I think your expedition deck is key to winning runs or figuring out what is good for your class to fight and what you need to avoid, like the plague. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think I need to get rid of wheat fields and uh, taverns. I was telling the stream earlier, or village villages because I feel like I've died a lot due to the elite monsters that the villages make or even the bandits that get created when you put <laughs> numerous ones in and I hate getting items stolen from me Alaska, I will tell you that um, this is unlike any game I've ever played before so trying to like tell you what it's like based on other games doesn't doesn't really work too well it's unique yeah your character i'm only have is this character all i have is the necromancer these are my summons these go away at the end of each combat all right i got a, a, a oh come on every time azaria comes past me she steals popcorn Hashtag game, Valoroka. Hashtag, yeah. All right, where do we want the... L yeah, let's do this. Let's put it right here, and that'll make... So this road lantern makes the road safer, so it'll take these spiders down from three to... From four to three, and also these blood worms. See, now they can only spawn three. Rindar's like, that's less experience. <laughs> less treasure. I know, but I think I'm going to have to stop the run when I get back to start here. I don't think we're going to see the boss. It's uncanny how I've not gotten anything with skeleton quality. See if we can get back to start. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do. We have to get back to this space right here. Cozy camp. We're, we're this white little dude. Here, we got to go through this right here. We got 134 hit points. Oh, boy. I should probably put down the, uh, the village if I can and try to get a quick little heal in. Okay, we got bandits over there, but here we go. We're gonna get a big heal. There we go. That's good. Come on, my skeletons! Ooh, summon quality. Beautiful. 54% summon quality now. Ripple cinnamon swirl! God! I'm so mad. I was right there. We were so close. I wonder if swapping the amulet is what killed me. Is that what killed me? I tanked my hit points, didn't I? I did. 
You're right. Fudge. All right, so I only get to keep 30% of my resources. I did have, I did, I was dropping off resources every, every uh, circle, so probably not as bad. What's not tied down? What, what achievement did I just get? I'll get five camp items, okay. So I got camp items now. Uh, silver pendant, minus four damage from vampires. So I can put that in. Garlic, plus two damage against vampires. Um, I can build the intel center. Unlocks the encyclopedia, unlocks the desert and sand dune cards, unlocks the ability to add gold cards to the deck. Mud hut, farm. I guess we'll do intel center. I know, a Pentium 4. It's an Intel. Intel inside. Does it matter where I build it? Okay, here's what we managed to learn. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories for a quite, a quite short period of time. Nothing is stable. But this is not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything. By keeping a log of your expeditions, we're adding pieces of the picture together. It would be much easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember, any knowledge is priceless, so don't forget to share it. We'll decide how to use it best together. Okay. Encyclopedia. Ah! Oh, look at this. Now you can find out about stuff. Nice. Furniture. Okay. Sweet. That's pretty neat. Um, my build. Nope. Uh, my card. So I can... Oh, I have desert now? Desert heat burns everything in its path, not only you. Lowers every creature's hit points by 0.5%. Playing chapter three without gold cards is pretty nuts. Going to help so much. What's a gold card? I don't even know. On pers uh, a personal wiki that Bog won't look at. Yeah, that's true. The Ancestral Crypt, the final resting place of an ancient family line. Death and lessons. Okay. Plus three hit points for every enemy with a soul killed. Removes hit point bonus from armor. Grants you one resurrection after a hero's death. Oh. So that's just an extra card you can have? So now I can go up to 15 cards, too. All right, so Desert lowers every creature's hit points by 0.5%. That's, that's you, too? Where was the sand dune? Wasn't there a sand dune? Oh, it's part of this. How to, I don't know how to look at it. <laughs> Encyclopedia. Look at it. <laughs> it's not here because I haven't used it yet, I guess. Yeah. It's under the desert like mountain or rock. Okay. Pretty cool. So that, that kind of just changes things a whole bunch. Can't craft anything there. Can I build anything else? No. All right, well, that's, that gives you a lot more to kind of play around with. And you can see there's a lot to build. How many chapters are there? Does anybody know?
You can see I don't have too many more things that, that I haven't unlocked. I'm sure that takes more and more. Yeah. I could build a forest. Oh, yeah. This is the Lumber Mac, Lumber Mac, Lumberjack's domain unlocks the forest and thicket cards. Oh, okay. Let's build that. I'll build it here. Does it matter where you build it? Does it matter where you build it? Corner is good. Wow, it's a forest. Yep, a forest. <laughs> Solid wood. It's truly unbelievable. <laughs> what are we talking about now? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I know what a forest is. A shining example of perennial evergreen flora. Are you making fun of me? That's how... A log or a plank looks before it dies. So exciting. Yes, you're definitely making fun of me. Okay. So now I feel like the number of cards is ginormous. Now we've got forests and thickets. Plus 1% hero attack speed. Oh, these are great. There's lots of stuff now. What was the game I started with? Saw the tweet. It was called The Eternal Cylinder. It's out in beta right now. You can get access to it for free. Go to... Eternal Cylinder's website, and you can sign up for the beta. They'll give you a, a code. Super cool evolution puzzle type game. All right, I'm going to wrap things up there, guys.